Hello and welcome. My name is Christopher Hole from ChristopherHole.com, health and fitness education. And uh, in today's video, we're going to be talking about weight loss. Now, what's held in, I don't know, common thought in the mainstream media is that we've got to, you know, restrict the amount of calories that we eat. Now, what I'm about to explain to you is going to sort of help you understand that that is, uh, for want of a better phrase, a load of rubbish. Um, calories have not got much to do with weight loss. Calories are quite insignificant, you could say, when it comes to weight loss. What we've got to do is we've got to stop eating acid. So what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to read a little bit uh, from a book called Clinical Biochemistry, uh, Metabolic and Clinical Aspects by William J. Marshall and S.K. Banger. And I want that to sort of go some way to help you understand what I'm saying is 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 true in a way, um, simply because I've spoke to so many people throughout my years in the health and fitness industry who want to lose weight. Um, they talk about you know how many calories they're restricting and you know the way they've done their diet and they still can't lose weight. It's because their diet is too acidic. It's because their body is too acidic. We've got to clean the body out. As soon as we clean the body out, it gets it becomes, you know, in a sense, fat free uh, or body fat free. And, you know, we start shedding the weight much more easily um, and much more sort of effectively as well. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to sort of read a piece uh, from this from this book that will sort of, you know, help you understand what I'm talking about. So in the adipose tissue, free fatty acids can be re-esterified to triglycerol, a process that consumes three hydrogen ions for each molecule of glycerol synthesized. So what that means is our adipose tissue. So firstly, our adipose tissue is that sort of body fat that people don't like. That's your adipose tissue. Held within that is free fatty acids. What then happens is your body sends out the free fatty acids to go and consume three hydrogen ions. Now, the hydrogen ions are the acid. When your food breaks down, it breaks down to acid, one of them being hydrogen ions. These free fatty acids consume three of them. What it then does is that then turns it into a triglycerol again. What happens with the triglycerol is it then goes back to your adipose tissue and is stored there until it can be got rid of once the body's clean. What your body's doing is it's in reaction to the amount of acid going in. As soon as you stop the acid going in, it lets go of your body fat because all that is, it's acid. As soon as you clean your diet out, that changes. So food you want to avoid, which are acidic, things like uh, alcohol, caffeine, meat, dairy, uh, cheese, you know, all the cheese, the eggs, the milks, all that sort of stuff, yogurts, ice cream, chocolate, sugary foods, processed foods, hydrogenated fats, all those types of foods and drinks you want to avoid. Energy drinks, colas, sodas, all that sort of stuff, you want to avoid it. That will only make you fat. The foods that will make you thin, vegetables, uh, vegetable proteins, um, mono and polyunsaturates, um, omega-3, 6 and 9s, uh, w drinking water, plenty of water, structured water, um, good quality salts that aren't sort of laden with anti-caking agents, so you want sort of pure salts. All those types of foods are going to make you thin. It's nothing to do with the calories. You might be thinking, yeah, but that's really low calorie. It's nothing to do with the calories. Trust me, it's all to do with the acid. Stop the acid going in, it will stop building up on your body. Stop the acid going in as well, it will start being removed from your body. OK, um, so, yeah, thanks for listening. My name is Christopher Hole from ChristopherHole.com, health and fitness education. Um, I will speak to you in another video. All right. Cheers. Bye.